Good morning and welcome to another morning devotional at FCC Plano. Today we are in Daily Feast, Feasting on the Word, Year A. Our scripture reading will be Matthew 21, verses 23 through 32, and our reflection is written by Charles Campbell. Hear the word of the Lord. Jesus entered the temple courts, and while he was teaching, the chief priests and the elders of the people came to him. By what authority are you doing these things, they asked, and who gave you this authority? Jesus replied, I will, ask, I will also ask you one question. If you answer me, I will tell you by what authority I am doing these things. John's baptism, where did it come from? Was it from heaven or of human origin? They discussed it among themselves and said, If we say from heaven, he will ask, then why didn't you believe him? But if we say of human origin, we are afraid of the people, for they all hold that John was a prophet. So they answered Jesus, we don't know. Then he said, neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. What do you think? There was a man who had two sons. He went to his first and said, son, go and work today in the vineyard. I will not, he answered. But later he changed his mind and went. Then the father went to the other son and said the same thing. He answered, I will, sir. But he did not go. Which of the two did what his father wanted. The first, they answered. Jesus said to them, Truly I tell you, the tax collectors and the prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God ahead of you. For John came to you to show you the way of righteousness, and you did not believe him. But the tax collectors and the prostitutes did. And even after you saw this, you did not repent and believe him. Thomas Campbell writes, In this exchange, the interview we becomes the interview were. The one question becomes the questioner. Jesus not only avoids the religious leader's trap, but more importantly, he places the question of his authority back on them. Moreover, his question not only outwits the religious leaders, it also unmasks their deepest priorities and concerns. They are not primarily interested in Jesus' true identity or in discovering how God would have them respond to Jesus. Our response today is this. Which Christ-like attributes do you most long to have in your life? Feel free to leave your answer in the comments below, or you can journal them at home, but I do encourage that you take the time to answer the question. Also, be sure to like and share this post so that you can encourage your friends to spend time with God. Join me in prayer. We pray that even when we fall short, we will never fall from your grace. Amen. Thank you for joining us today, and I'll see you next time.